What is the point of computer hacking? And what kind of information does it hold? In the following video, we are going to interview a college student who has some insight on this topic. Nowadays, most people are um, they're interacting with technology more so than they ever have before. Um, and just a, a lot of people are way more vulnerable than they think. So for like these computer hackers, um, a lot of times when they try to get personal information, they'll try to log into people's accounts. How do hackers hack our personal account and how do they get through our, the computers? All a person really needs to do, and it's not very hard, um, is there's a little, nowadays there's a little device that you can get that basically snoops on all the web traffic on an open uh, Wi-Fi, and so they'll be able to swipe your usernames and your logins without, with little to no coding. To get down on computer hacking, I spoke to a hacker who was willing to be interviewed, but he didn't want to be seen on camera. To, to cover up his identity, we had to sort his voice. In year of high school, I was hired to work in an IT firm, where I learned a lot of database design, and just really uh, stuff that used a lot of security protocols and everything, so uh, password protection, and just the users on the servers, and just really how to work with all that, so I learned uh, really how the systems work before I can learn how to break the systems. Now how did you get started at 13? Uh, so I had a good friend of mine who we love computers, we love doing them together, so I ended up, uh, we started like a computer repair business with this kid and we were building our computers, a lot of gaming. Um, Bitcoins were just coming out then, so I got big into Bitcoin mining um, and just really understanding more of the hardware side. And then that eventually turned into my love for both the software and hardware side. Let's go through with um, gaming. So if you use hacking when you're gaming, do you have like computers to beat the game or complete the game or use hacks for mods and stuff? I always enjoyed finding like cheat codes and stuff that uh, other people in the community had found. Um, hmm. I think Grand Theft Auto was the first game I had to create my own mods like, for originally. Besides that, I just used things I could find on the internet that other people had done. But when that game came out, uh, I, I wanted to teach myself a lot more stuff, so I really got into more back to coding my own mods to uh, do things. <laughs> hacking through webcam. Uh, Can you explain to me, is it much more vulnerable? Can you be more vulnerable getting hacked through a webcam? So the problem is, so many people leave their internet's open, like their actual internet, but their Wi-Fi is unlocked. And if you can get onto an unlocked Wi-Fi, then you can get into somebody's computer, which has your webcam on it, and it's like that hard to get into the Wi-Fi. So you can have to connect to the computer, through the Wi-Fi, or any internet that they have, and then you control the webcam through that. Um, so the problem is, I think one of the biggest problems, there's a lot of sites, not a lot, actually, there's a good amount, but there's sites out there where um, these people will just hack in like random college girls' webcams or just women's webcams. And like the women never know, like they might never know like in their entire life and they never know that they're looking to hack. But then they just basically sell videos of them like changing or getting ready or just like doing whatever they're doing for their computer, just, you know, old men for money. and. There's definitely like profit in that for sure, but um, if you can get into the computer, you can easily turn off the LEDs that come on with the webcam so that nobody even knows it's on, and then it's really easy just to 
to get into it. So one of the big things you're going to do, uh, I mean, password protect your Wi-Fi for sure. Uh, if you use a lot of public Wi-Fi, then definitely a sticky note uh, your webcam, just so you don't have people looking into it. But then, if you're, you know, you don't have clothes on, or if you're just, you know, doing something that should be video, just, you know, close your computer late when you're, when you're using it. Alright, um... So you have like a story of you hacking someone's computer? <laughs> Is it your webcam? <laughs> oh yeah. Um, okay, so me and my friends, uh, in high school, the guys that I worked in IT with, uh, we had this ongoing kind of game that whoever could get like the craziest picture from somebody's webcam that they hacked, basically, uh, would be Bob Dinger for that month. So like every month we come together and uh, just show each other whatever pictures we had taken from somebody's webcam that we hacked, which is, you know, probably super illegal, actually, in kind of so. But uh, there are definitely some funny stuff, and not even be like bad stuff or anything, not like blackmail, or like, just like funny faces people had. Uh, like one time our boss, like, he was like, oh, I bet none of you can hack into my computer, and, you know, we did. You know, we ended up sending him, like, emailing him the pictures of himself that we were taking of his webcam. And then he thought he had shot us out, but we just kept going, so... There's a lot of fun stuff like that. Um, there's been a lot of, uh, when I was working in IT, a lot of people would, like, come to you just to be like, hey, like, I'll, I'll pay you to, you know, do this and do that for me to get into this and that. So, there's a lot of stuff like that, but you, know, you just have to be careful with what you're doing just because you can easily get arrested, for sure.